But yeah, I am slap your mama seasoning, some good old onion powder, garlic powder, and an olive garden uh, Italian seasoning. And you really don't have to have olive garden Italian dressing. You can use any dressing. And I love garlic powder on my meats. And also the black peppercorn makes it real good, y'all. So I laid all of my pork chops on the cookie sheet. I'm going to go ahead and start layering it. You know, start putting my Slap Your Mama seasoning. And then uh, start putting all my other seasonings. And let me say this, y'all. I know Slap Your Mama, I know I say this a lot. But, you know, if you ever decide to slap your mama, she would knock you down on the ground. <laughs> so, you know, don't. Don't do anything crazy that I wouldn't do. But, um, yeah, but Slap Your Mama is real good. You know, you can get at Academy. Academy has a lot of good grilling items, you know, for the Lolo. So I'm going to show you all the charcoal and all of that coming up. But, yeah, but what I like to do is season both sides of the meat. You know, get it nice and uh, well seasoned. Not overly seasoned, but, you know, I really don't like to add blend meats, you know. So when you uh, invite people over for gatherings, if you look at your paper towels, <laughs> make sure you pay attention to it. Because if you don't really have any paper towels left, you know people probably put their food in the paper towels. Yeah, but it's nothing like having blend meats, you know. Uh, but yeah, so the onion powder, the black peppercorn, uh, onion powder, garlic powder really makes it taste so good. You know, I know a lot of people like different types of seasonings. You know, um, I'm currently out of my parsley. I like to add parsley on it because it gives it a different flavor. All right, so... After that, I'm going to go ahead and put them in a Ziploc bag. Uh, it's something about the Ziploc bag when you're marinating your meats. Flavor together, y'all. And it makes it so good, so juicy. And I believe it penetrates the meat very well. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of the pork chops in the bag. And then I'm going to add my Olive Garden Italian seasoning. It's going to be so yummy, y'all. And you know, I do want to say this for all of the people who's super busy. Uh, this really don't take too long to do. You know, I would say under 15 minutes, you know. So you can always marinate it and just put it in the fridge. You know, whenever you're ready, just 
throw it in the oven. But I'm going to put mine on the grill. So uh, after that, you just go in and shake up the Italian dressing real well, y'all, because it's real thick. Shake it up real good and uh, just try to massage it into the meat, you know, so it can be distributed evenly, you know, so all of the meats can uh, get the dressing. And this part right here is so fun. <laughs> I just love massaging it. You know, it feels pretty good to the hands. Um, but yeah, so this is what going to give it a lot of juice. You're going to make it real juicy. You know, for a lot of people who hate dry meat, like me, myself, uh, this is one way of getting it real juicy. Um, I know a lot of people like to put it in the oven and put aluminum foil over it. You really don't have to do all of that, y'all. <laughs> But yeah, this is like a real cool recipe anybody can do, you know, um, if you're watching your sodium, you really don't have to put a lot of seasoning because uh, the dressing already have a seasoning, you know, like a natural taste um, that will elevate it. So I'm just, um, you know, making sure that all of the dressing get on the pork chops. I'm going to go ahead and get it ready. Get it ready for the grill. So, uh, oh, but before I do that, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a good hour, hour and a half, two hours. Uh, but normally, you know, I like to have my meats marinating for one day. But if you're busy, like I said, you don't have to do it one day. You can just do a couple hours or even 30 minutes. So after I add my onions in there, I'm going to go ahead and let it sit. And refrigerate it for about an hour or two hours. So, yeah, so this is really gonna be good. And uh, don't forget, y'all, you know, once when you put your onions in there, get you a fork and just go pierce the meat, you know, just pierce it so it can really um, have the Italian dress and penetrate. I'm about to get ready to put it in the refrigerator, get it nice and chilled. All right, about to get ready to get my grill ready. And y'all, this charcoal called B and B charcoal is real good. You get it at Academy Sports, like for five ninety nine. This big old bag lasts like a whole season, y'all, and it burns long. I'm talking about when we get done grilling, it still be burning, baby. And this wood, this is what I'm going to use for the pork chops. Uh, the hickory wood is so good. And this is a real good brand as well. So I got my fire ready. The pork chops on there. And y'all, it's scorching hot. So if y'all see me sweating, don't judge me. <laughs> it's best to put a charcoal in the middle so you can have a cold side and a hot side. So, you know, it's, it's, it's best to do it like that so you won't overcook your meat fast. For pork chops on the grill. And I love extra onions when I marinate mine. I know when, when you, uh, you know, put them on the grill, you want it to be real nice and, and uh, oniony, oniony. Yeah, look how big these pork chops are, y'all. It's just so big. You know, shoot, all you need is one good pork chop and some good greens. Oh, yeah, and you got to add some good garlic bread. Oh, yeah, some good old garlic. And uh, I went on and made some homemade burgers because my husband, he loves some burgers, y'all. I call him the burger patty man. Every time we grill, he say, we got to add some burgers. <laughs> but yeah, but basically whenever I grill, you know, I, we be smoking at the neighborhood. A lot of neighbors, you know, be peeking out the windows, checking us out, you know, waving, you know, hoping they can get a plate. You know, I'm a real nice person. I mean, you know, if you're hungry. I most definitely will give you a plate. But yeah. Yeah, you know, when you bless, it's always good to bless others, you know. 
But yeah, back to the good old pork chops, y'all. Smelling good in the neighborhood, baby. Oh, it smells so good. I'm going to go ahead and flip them over. And I, I like to rotate my meat. You see, I got my burgers. Look at all that juice hanging down on the burgers on the right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, this is what it's about, you know, during the summertime is grilling, enjoying family, and just kicking it. You know, you work so hard. So why not enjoy uh, the harvest of your hard work, you know? So i probably go ahead and uh, let it cook a little bit more. Probably an extra 10 minutes, I believe. Uh, that's all it really needs. So I'm going to get ready to take them off the grill and get ready to get down, baby. And I love to put my onions back on the meat. So here's the finished product, y'all. It's ready to be devoured. You know, the only thing I need is some good veggies on the side, which I do have a salad in the refrigerator. All right, y'all. I'm Jackie G. God bless y'all. Have a beautiful day.